All right, what's going on, everybody? This is uh, season two, episode 51, Smiley's Garden Tour, coming up on the uh, season finale. <clears throat> but uh, got the veg table here. Things are still kind of in the same spot. Uh, I did get a majority of these all kind of figured out if they're boys or girls. Um, those are the um, platinum cake to double white cheese. Uh, some like a small batch of seeds that uh, Mr. Bingus made and, and sent them over my way. I'm running them out. Excuse my water there kicking on, but um, but yeah, so I got a few girls of that. Um, the next round of clones. I got some of the DOA ones transplanted. I got some other little babies coming in. Some of them got kind of wonky, but um, next batch that's sundial those are uh, some smiley's angels um, these wonky ones are gorilla blue four by the sky cuddler um, but yeah so got some new ones transplanted some of them still need to be transplanted i got a bunch on the ground here that were transplanted um, so yeah i'm overflowing here in the veg table but uh I got a lot of cuts that I'm um, keeping around, a lot of them trying to flip into rotation and some new ones, so it kind of jams them up. But once I get some of these hunted out and figured out which is the keeper, then it'll cut down on some of the numbers. So yeah, that's the veg table. All right, so this is the first row here in veg. They've been in here a little over a week. Um, I, I hooked up the watering system from last time, so I was kind of uh, hand water and monitor them. I got them pretty where, pretty much where I think they are going to be happy and uh, they seem to be digging life. Um, starting to see new growth on them and all that. And I did kind of prune some of them up just to get some uh, more tops flowing. Um, but yeah, I think the dry back and, uh, and some of that's really kind of uh, did a number to those uh, root feeding nematodes and um, yeah, everything seems to be bouncing, bouncing back and on track. Um, I haven't really done much with this row. I mean, they got a couple, well, when I did water them, I, I gave them um, a worm compost extract, so kind of an inoculation of biologicals and uh, I've uh, just been kind of leaving them alone. They, they really haven't needed much water. I think I did only water them the once and then uh, I went a couple days and then I hooked the watering system up. So, um, so yeah, they seem to be pretty happy right now and I'm real happy with that. So we're taking the win. All right, so this is the second row here in veg. These are under uh, 300 watt LEDs. Um, and they're filling in really nice. This row two seems to be kind of popping back and I'm uh, not really showing any signs of major issues. Um, so I talked about it a little bit last week. I am still seeing some of the aphid pressure, um, mainly more in this next row in veg with the, uh, um, and on the veg table. I should have pointed it out in that, I guess. But, um, but yeah, the aphids kind of, so I stopped spraying. Um, I was spraying insecticidal oils and stuff. Um, stopped spraying that, uh, stuff oil X. Uh, I released some ladybugs and did some green lacewing. I just let go another round of green lacewing eggs, um, which I guess for a topic, I I don't know if anybody's ordered those. Uh, they come on the little cart. I'm trying to look around and see if I see one on one. But they come on the little cards for the uh, green lacewing eggs. Um, I don't know why I'm not seeing any on this row, but but anyway, um, I've had kind of hit or miss luck on those to where it doesn't really seem like they hatch. So I don't know if you guys have gotten those in the, out in the chat world there or in the comments. But if you guys have, I don't know, maybe leave a comment on it if uh, if you got ways to get better success out of hatching the lace wings. So, but yeah, that's the uh, second row in veg cruising along. All right. So this is the third row in veg, um, really bouncing back as well. They are under the uh, 600 watt LEDs, um, getting some height out of them. But uh, let's see, I know I had a card in here. 
But yeah, this is the row that really had the majority, but these are the cards that I'm talking about. These are the lace wing hatch off of those, but I don't know, half the time they come, they don't, I guess that's a, the last one, I just the new one, I just did the fresh one. But it just don't seem like they ever hatch. Um, and I know my, uh, I know my isopods will eat them too. I'm trying to see if I can show some of the aphids here. If it'll zoom on a particular branch where you can see them right there in that. Uh, there's my finger right here. You can see them running up that. Uh, they stack right up. Um, it's pretty gross. You run your finger up those and just squish them all. I've been kind of going at it that way for a little bit and kind of pruning some of them out of there. Um, but yeah, these, these are the ones that kind of got thin on the branching. Um, this one here too, but it's, it's kind of, uh, they're popping back around. So, but yeah, everything's on, uh, cruise control here for a little bit. Um, yeah, they'll have another week or so, I think, before I move them. I want to try to get um, get back to where I got some pretty decent control over these, uh, these aphids. Um, I did spray, so I had the, um, what was it, BioCress WP, which is the Bavaria bassiana, um, I, I haven't had luck with that in the past, so I actually just got some new, uh, it's No Fly is the brand, and it's from, uh, shit, I'm trying to think of the company that makes it now, anyway, the, uh, the company, anyway, No no Fly is the brand, but the, it's like an Isaria, Isaria, it's a little bit different fungus than the uh, Bavaria Bastiana. So I've applied that once. Um, it was a few days ago. I, honestly, I don't, I didn't see any change in how the aphids were. <laughs> They're still walking around doing their thing. Uh, so I'm not sure how long it takes to kind of get a good infection from that, if, if that's the case. Um, I'm probably gonna order some kind of other predator, like a new pirate bug or um, assassin bug. Uh, I've seen there were some parasitic bugs for aphids too so I'm gonna keep uh, hitting them with different angles to see which one kind of takes off or maybe a combination of the two but I'm really I'm really hoping I can get them beat without trying to use like the traditional kind of uh, systemic pesticides or even like the oils and stuff is what I'm trying to get away from so but this is why I was spraying if I you know a couple times a week if I skipped one I would definitely see the pressure pop come up like this um, and right now I've skipped a couple sprays so it was kind of I guess it's just the nature of trying to fight it they're gonna kind of increase a little bit before they decrease so I don't know I'm gonna keep hitting them with different angles and uh, see if we can get under control all right, so this is the first row in flower. These are under the uh, double-ended um, HPS lights, the 1000 watt. Uh, from last video, I got this first row of straw kind of put on, um, and they're just starting to kind of grow into it. So these are uh, Macmosa, uh, which I'm gonna need to really get them to fill this straw. This is gonna be a little tough, but um, yeah. I don't know, there's only three plants in that one. Um, what were these next two? Man, I'm missing the tag. Um, oh, these these are uh, Countdown, which is from uh, Gage Green Group. There's three of them in there, that row, uh, the top corner there, and then this, this corner here, this is a Hippie Goggles. Oh, it's just one of Smiley's Angels. And then um, the Macmosa was from uh, Sunken Treasure Seed. And uh, that's one more Hippie Goggles there in the center. And then these next three are Crippy OG, uh, which is from 808 Genetics. It's Crippy and, man, I should have looked at these tags. Uh, 
Oh, there's a GG4, and there's one more Crippy, and then these two are uh, iMac F2s, uh, which the iMac was originally from Sunken Treasure Seed. Um, I made a small batch of F2s just for my personal, and uh, yeah, so these were the uh, seeds from the Keeper Fino of the iMac that I have. But um, yeah, just to give a shout out to Sunken Treasure Seed, he did release an F2 version of that um, iMac, so if you guys are interested in that, I would uh, seek out his uh, his cross on that. Um, but, uh, but yeah, this row is cruising along. I gotta get through here and lollipop these yet, try to encourage them to maybe get a little taller and fill in the scrog. This was kind of the miss and match uh, row, mix and match row. So um, did the best I could with the ones I had in veg that I thought were ready to flip, and um, yeah, they're they're getting happy. So uh, just a little peek. These are the uh, the um, platinum cake by double um, double white cheese. That's the one from Bengus. Uh, this is just kind of a tester, but that's a uh, blue lime pie across to uh, circus animal cookies. Um, that's one of Smiley's Angels. This is one of the uh, Sky High version 2, uh, which is a Smiley's Angel as well. And then these two are um, Gorilla Glue 4 across to the uh, Jack Skillington, which is getting really frosty. I don't know, the light's kind of yellowed it. Let me see if I can. That yeah, makes it too blue. Yeah, shit. It's frosty though, you'll have to trust me. And then this is another Fino of that uh, Jack Skellington show. But that's the uh, GG4 by Jack Skellington, so a couple nice frosty ones there. Alright, so this is the last row in flower here. These are under uh, 680 watt LED bars. Um, this first scrog here, these are the uh, high punch which is one of the outcrosses for the purple punch back cross but this was the uh, purple punch hit with the high mac pollen um, and she's yeah she throws a nice frosty nug uh, these were a little bit smaller when I put them into flower so they didn't really fill up the scrog too well and uh, she doesn't typically stretch a ton um, so yeah, I, that's what I got. I actually didn't even put a second row of scrogging on these, but um, but yeah, they're real coming along real nice, real frosty, real happy with them. So they're on day 40. I don't know if I said that. Anyway, uh, this next scrog is these are the uh, platinum cake, um, which is filling right in. I got the second row of scrogging on them. Um, yeah, they're real frosty, stacked up real nice. So, real happy with that round. Um, cruising along, they'll have a, uh, you know, three more weeks or whatever, so they should have some time to fill in real nice. Um, this next one here is a uh, Blue Lime Pie, which, uh, yeah, it's got kind of a purple stem on it. That's not a typical for the Blue Lime Pie, but this or not but uh, there's another blue line pie down in the corner here um, cruising right along so. and then uh, these next two this is a rascal berries and that's another rascal berries there um, these two definitely have some of the um, a little the aphid pressure that I'm seeing there too so I Kind of hung a few extra of the uh, green lace wing cards underneath these. Um, but yeah, all in all, they're uh, filling in nicely. Um, this one here is a uh, Sky Punch, or excuse me, Sky Stomper, which is the uh, real st stinky, uh, I don't know, Sunny D smelling one. Um, the next two there is. Uh, the other two phenols of the Sky High version 2. 
And we'll get around here. And this is a uh, Formula 51, uh, which is also a Smiley's Angel. So sorry about the camera work there. But, uh, but yeah, that's the uh, last row there. Um, cruising along day 40. Um, yeah. I appreciate everybody that's uh, following along in these. I appreciate all the uh, comments that people leave. Um, I guess a uh, shout out to um, the Grow Room 420 Growers Forum, uh, Kino and uh, GMO. They're, uh, they have a show every Friday, kind of a hangout growers talk show. Uh, they also do an online forum, so uh, you can do grow diaries and, uh, and different things on the forum too. So if that's something up your alley, then check them out. Uh, great guys from the UK. So um, get to meet people internationally and, and all that too. So um, yeah, another shout out. Oh, shout out to uh, Canamank. Once again, he had uh, he does a morning show on YouTube. Um, really funny, entertaining guy, and uh, he was he was doing some tasting of some of the uh, flowers, Smiley's Angels. So if you wanted to check that out, you can go see some of his videos. And of course, always uh, Eagle Gardens for um, always uh, hosting us on the Weed Nerd World and. Uh, hangouts um, and doing the interviews so if you don't follow Eagle Gardens you should get over there and follow his channel and uh, come hang out with us on uh, Monday nights for the Weed Nerd World. Uh, I should have wrote some of this down. Um, the organic takeover got rescheduled uh, or is scheduled pending. Um, unfortunately Organic Alexa had some stuff that uh, was really eating up her time. They got, um, well what it is is they have the uh, camp compost coming up, uh, so I'll shout that out for them. But uh, so yeah, our Alexa and uh, Jet House Gardens Chandler, he, they they helped organize that, um, and, and I think it's coming up here at the end of this month, um, a little camping weekend. So if you're in Michigan and you wanna you know, learn more about some of the composting and regenerative techniques, um, definitely search out that camp compost and uh, yeah, it was like a kind of a weekend deal at some speakers and different activities so um, yeah um, I think we are gonna have our uh, website up and running for the Smiley's Angels well I, maybe I called that out too soon anyway watch for that possibly this week we will be uh, posting up the website and uh, launching it and uh, getting everything going that way uh, if you are interested in, in uh, what we're doing on the on the breeding side or making seeds with smiley's angels um, you can always hit us up at an email at smiley's angels with two s's at the end but smiley's angels at gmail.com and uh, yeah and we can get in contact there or you can if you actually, it'd be really cool if you guys would go on Instagram and uh, follow smileys.angels um, on Instagram and you can DM us there, um, direct message, or you can direct message me on there. I'm smileys underscore garden on Instagram. Um, but yeah, if you, if you don't follow us there, um, that'd be awesome. But uh, yeah, I appreciate all the new subscribers and how the channel's been growing. And uh, yeah, it's been really cool. Um, seeing that kind of go organically just friends sharing it with other friends. So um, Yeah, I appreciate that and uh, All the people that are testing seeds. It's been really cool um, Getting to know people on that end too and see see their flowers are popping out some of the pictures are popping It's really kick-ass. So um, I'm blessed and uh, Yeah, on that note uh, Peace and love always Are we going? <laughs> what is it? 
Oh, that's all the mushrooms. Oh, wow, there is a lot of mushrooms. There's a big one. Yeah, there's a big ones. This one. Big one. That's a cool find, huh? Let's go bring it to Mama. Oops. Wait, you want to hold it? Sure. I got one. Good job. I got one. Do it again.